and make your car set the director Lisa Fingers. My name is Alva Barris. I am an artist at the Mayfield Art Center. I am one of the Kyuk artists. Kyuk means five in Irish. We are five artists who work in the studio together since I was a kid. All I wanted to do was to draw all day. I'm not into dolls. I'm not into Lego. I was born to do this. So my name is Lisa Fingleton, and I'm the manager at the Mayfield Art Centre since January, and this is our team, or some of our team. Um, and I'm also an artist and a filmmaker, and we're just really delighted to be here this evening. Um, the Mayfield Art Centre, as many of you will know, is based at Newbury House in Mayfield, and it was built by the community 20 years ago. Um, it's a, a fully accessible, this is from the snow there earlier in the year, it's a fully accessible art centre with supported studios, um, a large workshop spaces, two large work, work, workshop spaces, um, offices and a gallery. It is surrounded by an organic garden with its very own pizza oven and outdoor eating area. These are raised beds. So tonight Alva's going to tell you a bit about her life and how she became an artist at the Mayfield Art Centre and then we're going to talk about ways in which we can support artists and how we can all be united in art. Thank you. When I, when I was a small, no, when I was small, I stayed with the daughters of charity of, of Inisnagui in Limerick. I loved my communion day with my parents. I used to love Irish dancing. <laughs> when, when I was 12, we moved it, into Cork. I went to St. Paul's School in Montanasi. After St. Paul's School, yeah, I did lots of work experience. I did woodwork, metalwork, printing, and sewing and baking. After that, I got a job in the main office in Cove. In 2008, I came to Mayfield Art Centre to do, uh, to do a course of art. After the course, I got a job as one of the curious artists. I went into the office and my mum and dad were there. Mum asked me, are you sure you want to do this? I said yes. The three of us signed our contracts I was thrilled. In 2010, I had my first solo so at the Key Co-op. From that day on, I did loads of exhibitions around the world. I sold my work in London, Amsterdam, New York, and Columbia in South America. Wow. I went to Paris for my first birthday. I went into the Louvre and I saw a very small Mona Lisa. She was tiny. I came back to Cork and I did my own Mona Lisa. Then someone asked me if I wanted to go to Dublin and to be on the Lady Show. I told Wine Therapy how small the Mona Lisa was. So I changed it in my own way. Everyone saw it on TV. I love making art. I do drawings. I use charcoal and rubber to make images. I use thick black marker and white china marker. Sometimes I draw from an object. Last year, I made sculptures with people at the Crawford Art Gallery. Every day, I come, I come into this studio, I put on my painting clothes, and I start walking. It feels like home to me. I just feel different and happy. Now, 
I am doing the sound of music on a big white campus. I love Julie Andrews' music. The sound of music is about the Jews and their history. It's about the people it's given from the Germans. And Alf, well done. Alf, working on the sound of music makes me think about refugees and the current situation for so many people in the world who find themselves homeless due to war, climate change and greed. Last night I went to a protest on Grand Parade here in Cork in solidarity with gay men who are being persecuted in Chechnya. It is hard to believe that we are back talking about concentration camps and the incarceration of people who are deemed to be different. In Ireland, we have a long legacy of hiding people behind the walls of institutions, and today we have a shameful system of direct provision. It is easy to feel that we are going backwards instead of forwards, yet there is always hope and there is always light. Art, creativity and vision are now more important than ever. When Alva and I were preparing for this talk, she said something beautiful. She said, you, you can make butterflies with your feet. And I just thought that was gorgeous. And today we were drawn the bare feet. And I, well, I was kind of tickling your feet. It was, didn't go very well, but it was fine. We tried. Uh, we were trying to put a marker, weren't we? Um, to see what, what did it, exactly did it look like. Um, and she said, you only need yourself to make art. And I thought that's so beautiful. Um, and it's so true. And we were talking about Alva the other day, and we described it. We were talking to Tom, and Tom goes, she's a true artist. And that really is, 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 is the way we talk about Alva, because everything she does is just so easy, and so it just flows out of you. Um, so I suppose it's just that we can make butterflies with our feet, and we really have no excuse not to be making art. Um, as artists, we sit in front of blank canvases, or paper, or walls, and we have the power, I always think it's magical, we have the power to create something from nothing. Um, from a small idea, anything is possible. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, we must be the change that we wish to see in the world. If we want to see love and kindness in our world, we must become loving and kind. There's no other way. We need to sing, we need to dance, we need to make films, and we need to make our art. So how do we stand together united in art, which is the theme of this evening? Um, we believe at the Mayfield Arts Centre that we, we need to, first of all, support artists to make the art they need to make. I love working in the Mayfield Arts Centre. Um, it's one of the only places I have ever been in my life where artists are paid a salary and a commission to work in a studio and make art. Um, and this is supported by Pubble, and I think it's a really unique project. Um, this financial remuneration is so important because no matter what some people say about us, artists cannot live on air alone. We need to support ourselves, we need to support our families, and we need to be able to be sustained in the work we, we make, and we need to be valued to do that. But as well as the financial support, we also need encouragement and emotional support. It's not easy to sit alone all day in a studio. Um, I think what's magical about the Mayfield Arts Centre is we have shared studios, and they really are a hive of creative activity. Everyone's work is really different, and I know many people have been there, and you'll see the work is so different with each artist. Um, but each artist is supported to make the work that she or he wants to make. Um, we want people to shine and to be as brilliant as they possibly can be. And we believe that people can thrive in this environment. Um, I'm very conscious um, that we have a brilliant team from the Mayfield Arts Centre here this evening who've come to support us. And, and it just, it's, it's brilliant to see such a huge crowd here in Cork this evening, in general. So I'm just going to hand you back to Alva for the final word. I has no boundaries. Anything is possible. You just need yourself to make art. And remember, you can draw. Make butterflies with your bare feet. Oh, and thank you for listening. <laughs>